Now, I had planned on having a nice, juicy summer strategy all set up and ready to go for this week's video, as I, as I let you know last week, if you caught last Monday's video. But we had an unforeseen opportunity arise over the weekend, and I had to pull the handbrake on getting that ready for today, and we had to go and get the piece that was out there to be gotten. And honestly, guys, this completes a saga of me getting this card in. It's taken over a year and a bit or something like that. There's been a few ups and downs. I was a, there's a bit of a, a funny story behind it all which we'll get into in the video but what I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below is who do you think has won this trade? Who's coming out the better of it? Because there's some sneaky details here and there's probably some inside info going around uh, on both parties so I'd be really excited and really interested to hear uh, what you guys think of all this in the comment section down below. At any point in the video, if you laugh, you learn, you like something or whatever, please do like and subscribe to the channel, share and retweet and all that good stuff guys. Stay out of trouble and let's just get stuck into it. Now, as a little bit of an appetizer, let's say to the main course of what we've got to go through today, I want to give a wee shout out and a little tip of the cap to friend of the community, the head of Play Sharper, the man behind all that stuff, Spicer. I actually, as I mentioned on last week's video, I was out trying to get some NYCFC uh, jersey mint cards from last season. And the Nicolas Acevedo has been on my on my want list, on my to-do list for a long time. And it was won by Spicer as a reward. And, you know, I reached out to him last year or something for it. When Acevedo was playing for NYC, an under-23 midfielder, kind of stable enough average. You know, Spicer wasn't really interested in selling it. But he said, listen, go and get me the exact same card. I don't care about the number. And we'll swap it. And basically, we managed to finally get all that done and dusted. No jersey number premium. No, I see Quinny coming in my DM, so I'm going to rip him off. Or anything like that. Nicely exchange, a like for a like transaction. And I'm really glad to, to get this card in now, which is lovely to see. So, we've got another one in off the to-do list. So, that means there's only like four or five of these NYC cards that I'm really hunting for. And that's what takes us, guys, right in to our main course of the video. Now, you've probably seen the thumbnail, so you've got a wee idea. You may be brought into my club, so you might even know the card itself. But... I am a huge Celtic fan. I'm a lifelong Celtic fan, as you guys know. Maybe people who are maybe new around here. I've also been like a Man City supporter since 97, since the playoff final against Gillingham. And because of that, and because of my wider um, love for football and just insatiable appetite, it feels like. I've been a New York City supporter since inception. I've supported NYCFC. I watched every game of the inaugural preseason. I watched every, I watched, I've watched so much NYC over my life. I do consider myself a proper fan, although I've never been to a game. Yet, what I believe will go down in history, in NYC history, to be the greatest player of all time in like 20, 30 years from now. The, and again, I'm trying to give this, uh, you know, if, if you're a Celtic fan listening to this, the Jimmy Johnson of NYCFC. I don't know, I don't know, your Stanley Matthews's and your, I don't know, Greaves's and, you know, your old legends from the 60s and 70s. NYCFC is a very young franchise and that's one of the things that I've really enjoyed about being a supporter and been really proud of, about being a supporter of that team is I get to live through the whole history. When I'm an old man and the club is like 40 or 50 years old, I'll be able to say, oh, I remember watching Maxi Morales play. Winning at the first ever MLS Cup, winning Campione's Cup in the following season. And do you know what I've got to remember all that by? Not only do I have his jersey mint card, but it is a player edition card. It is signed by the man himself. It is one of the most beautiful NFTs that Sorare produce in terms of what it offers and what makes Sorare different. To, compared to everything else and what makes Sorare so special because this is guaranteed he signed it he made a Sorare account he opened his account and he sold his card for 85 pence would you believe it what a bargain and who would have bought it off him none other than what I'm guessing is his, probably his best pal Emiliano Viviano <laughs> now as long standing viewers of the channel will remember I had a super rare Emiliano Viviano and this guy served me well and you know Viviano I tip my cap to you you were a great servant to FC Barcelona since losing your spot and a, Pav a Pavel Trader G away um, how did I Pav oh a Pavel Trader into the Skorupski which was beautiful um, and now he's made his way into Watchy's Gallery here for a bit of a bargain so Viviano had the card okay and this is where it starts to get interesting but 
before I get into that, guys, as you will see at the bottom of the screen, we have got a new sponsor on the channel, Quinbet, found Quinny3001 across the mad interweb, and they love the content, and they want to sponsor and promote the channel and help us grow. And how good is this? The guys at Quinbet have enhanced their UK welcome offer, where you can now get a free bet up to £35. It's for new customers that sign up only. You can check out the terms and conditions on their website, quinbet.com, or click the link in the description of the video or in the pinned comment. It looks really impressive to me. It's 18 plus, and remember, folks, always gamble responsibly. And by using that link that's in the description and the pinned comment, of course, you will go to supporting all the content here at Quinny3001. And I thank you in advance if you do so. Remember, 18 plus, gamble responsibly. Now, when I seen Viviano got this Maxi Morales card September last year, I just got the NYC cards were coming into my gallery. I'd got the Chanel. I'd got all the early issue Defender jersey mints. And I seen that came out. And as soon as I seen that Maxi Morales card come out, I knew it was going to be the crown jewel of the collection. I knew it was going to be probably one of the two or three hardest pieces to acquire. And if I could get it, it would really give me the impetus to go on and finish the collection and really go on and complete the pieces. Now, between September... Now, I feel uncomfortable, right? Because what I really want to do is I really want to show you is the DMs between me and Viviano in September last year because I was crazy for going after this card. And you guys will know, when I'm all going after a card and I'm sending direct offers and I'm trying to negotiate... I'm always trying to be as fair as I possibly can in terms of value, reasonable expectations for both parties, etc. And, you know, I don't, I'm not going to put the Discord DMs on the screen, so I think that's like crossing the line, okay? But I did reach out to, to Coronito Emiliano Viviano back in September, and the best offer I sent him was 0 .1, 0 0.41 Ethereum, which at the time was around five six hundred pounds and a super rare Ezekiel Barco under-23 midfielder at River Plate. That was the offer I gave him for his Maxi Morales signature card when he was still at New York and still scoring pretty well. And when I read the messages back from Viviano at the time, I could only imagine him, Italian guy in Turkey, I could just imagine him sitting in his Ferrari, receiving the DMs from me, who makes videos about all this stuff. And he's like, yo, bro, I don't want, all I want is money. The offer you gave me is perfect. I'll take 1.3 Ethereum for Maxi Morales, no problem. But I'm not taking a wee bit of money and I'm not taking Barco. And then the last message finished off with, I'm not interested in selling the Maxi card, but if you make a super offer, I can think about it. Now, I don't know what this guy's on wages-wise, but I can promise you this, he's on way more money than I am. And what he deems to be a super offer is going to be way different to what I deem to be a super offer. So I had completely written off going and getting this card. Now, if you've seen my Twitter on Friday or something like that, we had discovered, thanks to the Soria scouts and managers from around the world, the Celtic fans in particular, we had unearthed the fact that Jota has himself a player edition card. And I, I tweeted it out saying, hey, Jota, with the eyes. And I think some people thought this was my card. And then I was just like, okay, it's not my card. And I thought, oh, could I maybe send Jota an offer? And then, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it and maybe I'm not. And what's the signature? The signature's different to signatures on cards. And, you know. Anyway, but it put me in the mind state of, oh, player edition cards, let me go and have a look, okay? Now, obviously, you know the, you know, you know the spoiler here. I've got the Maxi Morales. I've seen it listed. Emiliano Viviano had listed it on the market for what he deemed to be a super offer because that's the only thing he was going to sell it for. And he had it listed for a quarter of an Ethereum. Now, as you guys will know, with some of the trades I've been doing over recent uh, the recent weeks and with some of the cards I've picked up, I have been a bit nervous on the Carter Vickers that I brought in. Obviously, we got Carter Vickers in exchange for Hosa plus some ETH. You'd have seen that in the video last week. But it very quickly came out that Carter Vickers is going to get some surgery after the Cup semi-final, and we won't see him again until the new season. His SRD value is also a quarter of an Ethereum, and he's still playing. He played the semi-final. He played great. But we're not going to see him again till next year, and you can probably see where this is going. I sent my boy uh, Coronito an offer. Straight swap, Carter Vickers for Maxi Morales, super rare. Now, I must add a little bit further context into this at this stage, okay? Maxi Morales, although he's a great player, under-20 World Cup winner, back in the day in the team with Aguero, Di Maria, some familiar faces here. The guy's a legend, I love him, right? But he's back at Racing Club, he's 36 years old, he's only got a contract until the end of this calendar year, and then he's probably going to retire, you know, let's be honest. His rare currently goes for like 15 quid. Um, and at the moment, I've had to read up into this, of course. Fernando Gago, you might remember him from his times at Real Madrid, and I want to say maybe 
Porto or something like that, and Boca Juniors or River Plate, I forget which. But anyway, he doesn't seem to like Maxi Morales, and he hasn't really been playing him too much. So I think the fans want Maxi to be out, but maybe, I'm not, um, not Maxi, sorry, Gago. So Maxi might come in, they've got a uh, continental competition, you know, um, maybe he gets some minutes. Anyway, point being, utility on this card is nothing. Now, I've got a little bit of that inside knowledge. Like I mentioned, that I know Carter Vickers is going to go to surgery and we're not going to see him again until next season. But he will play next season and he will still be Cameron and Carter Vickers and he will still be an absolute powerhouse, a phenomenon. Um, but he rejected the offer, as you can see there. And he came back instantly, guys, instantly with this counter offer, which I just straight accepted, straight out the bat. Now, this, uh, Coronito obviously is probably unwiser that Cameron Carter Vickers is not going to be playing any more football until probably August or September at this point. Um, and he's probably not going to be too chuffed if he sees this video either. But he did get an extra little bit of Ethereum for, for his troubles, right? And I've got this card, which is very special. And I've just told you how much I love it and all the good things about it. MLS Cup, jersey number, the Jimmy Johnson in New York, all that good stuff, right? And I mean, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're only missing a few wee pieces. We're only missing a few wee pieces. We've got some right special ones as well. But Emiliano Viviano is his friend. Emiliano Viviano knows him. And if Emiliano Viviano has sold the card, now I forgot to add this in on the original recording, but I caught it in the edit. Right after I accepted this offer, by the way, he then sent me this offer straight away, trying to get my Kyogo that I won for the Maxi Morales super rare that he has. So, you know, maybe he knows something that I don't know, and maybe he knows something that no one else knows. So, I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. Who has won on this exchange here? Who's got the better card? Or who's, you know, who's who's won? Ah, it's probably the only way of saying it. Who's got the better deal out of this exchange? Me, with my one-of-a-kind Maxi Morales with very little to no utility that completes a piece, that completes a collection that I'm still got a few pieces to go and get of. Or Cameron Carter Vickers and a bit of ETH who's going to not play for the next four months or something. Let me know your thoughts in the description down below. Stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.